just the final few pieces and I'm just about done. Hey Nick, that looks really interesting. What is it? What do you mean, what is it? I was so inspired after the last session. I spent hours building this thing about the Lego. I've just got a few blocks to go. Look, can you see? Okay, yeah, now I can totally tell what it is. I love your enthusiasm, Nick. Oh, thanks, Beth. Well, do you want to be part of the stadium build? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, okay, I'll give you some instructions. Select a yellow block, um, and can you place it on top of the grey blocks just above the arches on the top of your stadium? Um, and then can you secure it down, please? There, how about that? Yeah, pretty good, Nick. Well, those instructions were pretty precise there, Beth. <laughs> well, I know, Nick, because today's session is all about giving instructions. Communication is an essential skill. Now, there are lots of times in life where you're going to need to explain or instruct someone how to do something. And it's really important that when you do that, your instructions are clear, precise and easy to follow. So today we will be developing our communication skills in giving instructions. So get your bossy boots on. And remember, if you're learning with us today, we'd love to hear from you. Ask a grown up to tweet at Prem Rugby and share what you've been up to using the hashtag learn with us. We've loved being able to hear and see what you champions at home have been up to. Yeah, we really have. And just a little reminder, you do need an adult's uh, permission if your photo is going online. Now, you know what time it is, guys. Right, that's it. We need to wake up, wake up our bodies and our brains. So it's over to Coach Callum for some morning moves. And the top tip, listen out to see if Coach Callum gives you any instructions in the session. Hi guys, it's time for Morning Moves with me, Cal Morris and Premiership Rugby Champion. So, this morning we're going to do four exercises for 30 seconds work and 30 seconds rest. We're going to build into it a bit slower and then we're going to really push it towards the end. So first exercise, we're going to do slow mountain climbers. So we're going to set like this and just bring one leg in the other one. Okay? When you're ready, let's get into it. Let's go. And nice and slow. In, out, in, out, in, out. I'll show you from a different angle. These are really hard, so if you need a quick rest on your knees and have a quick shake out, do a couple more. In, out, in, out. Okay, and rest. So, next we're going to have a bit of fun and we're going to do some big side steps. If you've got a ball, you can use a ball. If you want to use a pillow, use a pillow. So, we're just going to hold the ball. We're going to do some big side steps. Yeah? Remember, we've got to dodge people, haven't we? So, we're going to go in 10 seconds. So, take a couple of big brigade breaths. This is going to be 30 seconds of hard work and side steps. Get that blood flow around the body and then we'll learn again. Ready? Let's go. Side steps. Side steps. Keep going. Good. We're about halfway through. Keep going. Keep jumping from side to side. You throw a little dummy in there if you've got a pillow or a ball. Uh, five seconds. Four. Three, two, one. Whew. Right, so next, we're on to heel kicks. So I like to put my hands on the bottom and then kick my hands, yeah? And we're just gonna hold that nice pace for 30 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds more rest and take a couple of deep breaths. Ready? Hands on our bottoms, and go. We're kicking them, yeah? Keep going. We can change direction, we can change direction. We're gonna face this way. Face this way, and face this way. Keep going. Keep 
His job is to guide us through the morning move session. If he wasn't a little bit bossy, then we wouldn't know what to do. Ah, I see. So basically, he's given us instructions and we're to follow them. Is that right? Exactly right, Nick. Oh, well, let's go and find out some more about instructions. Instructions are a step-by-step -step guide explaining how to make or do something, and instructions can be spoken or written. Instructions can be used for many different things. Can you think about a time when you had to follow instructions? Were you cooking and following a recipe, for example? Perhaps you were doing morning moves and listening to Coach Callum's instructions. Or were you watching a Minecraft tutorial on YouTube? Perhaps you were learning about how to do a line-out properly when you play rugby. Well, these are all different types of instructions. So I know what you're thinking. How do you write or say instructions? Well, here are our top tips for you. Use imperative or bossy verbs. Use adverbs, use topic-specific vocabulary, and use time conjunctions. In case you're thinking, what on earth is she on about? Get your looking glasses on. We're going to go through an example together so that it all makes sense for you. Let's take a look at one of Coach Callum's scripts for a morning move session. First up, let's check his script for imperative verbs. These are bossy words and they tell us what to do. Can you see any? Here they are. Coach Callum has actually used loads of imperative verbs, such as let's, stand up, roll, bend, squat, jump, extend, and repeat. Next up, we've got adverbs. Adverbs tell us how we do something. Can you spot any adverbs? Coach Callum has definitely used adverbs. He's told us to stand up straight, roll our shoulders back, then we've got squat down low, and also he wants us to quickly jump. So he's telling us how to do the actions. The next thing to look for is subject-specific vocabulary. So Coach Callum is writing a script all about fitness and getting fit, so we'd like to identify some vocabulary about fitness. You can see that he's used the phrase squat jump. This is a phrase that is specific to fitness. Finally, we need to check for time connectives. Now, these are usually at the start of a sentence and they tell us the order in which we need to do things. Coach Callum is on the ball because he's used first, then, next, and finally. 
so Coach Callum gets top marks for his instructions. Don't forget, these are your top tips for creating instructions. Use those imperative or bossy verbs that tell people what to do, adverbs that tell them how to do it, topic-specific vocab, and time conjunctions. Well, after watching that, it turns out Coach Callum gave us loads of instructions in that, Beth. I definitely showed some bossy verbs in his session. Yeah, definitely, Nick. Like what? Well, he told us to bring one leg in, have a quick shake it out, keep on going and take a couple of deep breaths. And I certainly needed those deep breaths towards the end. <laughs> you and me both, Nick. Right. Well, you've nailed it. Those are great examples of imperative or bossy verbs and they tell people what to do. Right then, you champions at home, you're going to need a pen or a pencil and some paper for this next bit. So if you need to, hit the pause button before continuing. Right then, now I've got my pen and paper. Beth, what do I need to do? Right, I'm going to show you a variety of bossy verbs and you need to note down which bossy verbs you are going to use in your fitness session. Oh, that sounds interesting. Great. Ready, guys? We'll give you one minute at home. So ready? Go, go, go. Now that you've got your bossy verbs sorted, we need to start thinking about the moves that you want to include in your fitness session. So Nick, have you got a favourite move that you do uh, in your rugby training? I certainly have, Beth. I'm always involved in lineouts, So I'd have to include a squat, nice and low, and into a jump. Maybe a little bit like that. Yeah, that looks like a perfect move, Nick. So that's the first activity in your session sorted. Oh, great stuff. But... Can you help me think of any others, Beth? Um, okay, yeah. So, well, sometimes you catch a high ball. So what about running on the spot and then jumping with your hands up? Oh, that's great. Maybe a little bit like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Oh, that's a great idea. Perfect for me to practice my skills and give myself a good workout. Right, we're going to give you guys at home two minutes to come up with four moves to include in your fitness session. A bonus point if you can think of moves related to rugby. Remember to write them down on your piece of paper. Ready? <coughs> Off you go!
Right then, I've got my four movements, Beth, and I've got my list of bossy verbs. What's next? That's great, Nick. So now we need to write some sentences, which you can then say when you're doing your fitness video. Sentences? No, no, no. Don't give me an instruction. <laughs> OK, fair play. You are on the ball today, Nick. Let's piece together our bossy verbs and our movements to make an instruction. OK, so I've got the bossy verb, jump. And I know I want to do a squat jump movement. So let's think. I could say... Make you sure your feet are shoulder width apart, squat down as low as you can, and jump using your legs to power you up. Perfect. That is a perfect instruction. You've actually used loads of bossy verbs there. You told me to make sure, also squat down, and you told me to jump. So I think you're getting the hang of this, bossy boots. I reckon our champions at home could do the same. Use your bossy verbs and your movements to come up with some instructions for your fitness video. We'll give you three minutes. And if you're watching with a grown up, discuss it with them. Or if you're watching alone, you can always think out loud. Great effort, guys. By now, you should have at least four super instructions to include in your fitness video. We're going to leave you with a challenge today. Find someone to help you film your very own morning move session. Now, make sure that you speak really clearly so we can hear your incredible instructions. And share your videos with us on Twitter, at PremRugby, using the hashtag LearnWithUs. Coach Callum, can't wait to see your sessions. We hope that you've enjoyed this Premiership Rugby Champions Learn With Us session. And remember, stay home, stay safe and learn with us. <laughs>